The debate effect inherited from Asian markets yesterday didn't really last long in the European day. The markets quickly focused on U.S. fines um, against Volkswagen and U.S. fines against the Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank equ uh, stocks went to a new all-time low. Volkswagen, which has tried to break the uh, short-term downtrend in the area of 125, 126 euros, are only at 111 euros um, after the drop yesterday. So there are um, um, concerns that this is not going to um, be a quick fix in both stocks and that also somehow um, yeah, led to se um, uh, increased selling in Commerzbank stocks. Um, uh, the company announced um, that it will um, lay off 9,000 employees, that's 18% of the total employee um, numbers. So quick and really, really uh, harsh uh, cuts there at the Commerzbank. Um, interestingly, there was a rally in the Bund futures despite higher German sovereign risk. Investors fled to the safe havens of German government bonds. Then there was the International Energy Agency. Uh, Fatih Birol, the uh, boss, the um, uh, president there, warning that there will be an oversupply until the end of 2017 in the market, in the global oil markets. Um, markets expect or think um, that it will be around 600,000 barrels per day, the oversupply in the oil markets. And um, yesterday was also Saudi Arabia and Iran saying that they do not expect any meaningful deal in Algeria in the uh, next two days. So today and tomorrow will be the um, uh, consultations between Russia and uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran and other OPEC members to talk about what they can do to stabilize oil prices. But both countries um, that actually initiated um, this, um, or Saudi Arabia at least, initiated those talks said that there will be no deal and so oil prices went down again, speculation went out. So the focus on the oil markets is now on the 30th of November, there will be the next OPEC um, summit in Vienna. Then there was yesterday the IMF, International Monetary Fund, who said that world, um, the global trade is not growing anymore as strong as it did. It's just uh, growing by 1.7%. That's well bef below the April forecast of 2.8%. And so for the first time ever, world trade is growing slower than world GDP. And if you view that in the context of those anti-globalization trends that you have globally, that's really something that is concerning. And that is also something that points to a weaker oil price. And interestingly, in that context, um, it's very interesting to see what Saudi Arabia will do um, uh, or will try to do to stabilize oil prices in that environment, which is fundamentally um, bearish for the crude markets.